Hey guys, Lucky Cap Gaming, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we took care of Nadra on top of the mountain, and also discovered a shrine, like, east of the mountain, I believe. Now, this time, we're going to talk to Impa first. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. And we have the champion's tunic. This was the shirt that Link wore in the cutscenes, if you remember. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Alright, let's change into that real quick. Alright, nice. Now, let's be on our way. So, now that we've done that, the world really opens up to us because this shirt's pretty good and also... The main quest, Free the Divine Beasts, is in four different locations. So, to do them all, we have to go to each different location, one at a time, or maybe, like, in between. I'm not quite sure how to word it. So, I believe our journey will begin... Let me just go right here. At the Kenamut Shrine. So yes, we will be going to this Divine Beast first. Burning things. Dry grass catches fire especially easily. And that fire spreads quickly. Now, I'm just trying to think about that. Especially easily. I mean... I guess that's proper grammar. But one thing that's not proper grammar that I found in Sonic Adventure DX's mission mode last night. So, I was doing this one mission. Well, I found this one mission. And it was called... Well, the way it was worded, I believe it was along the lines of... A, j <laughs> a prisoner have escaped from the prison of hell. Burning? <laughs> like, they actually said the word. And I'm not gonna say it, but... Yeah, they actually said that. Now, you can obviously see the problem here. They used have instead of has. Like, come on, that's such a glaring issue. Hmm, looks like we got a shrine right over there. Oh, perfect. I think first we're gonna want to stop on that little section of rock with the tree first. Hmm. Or we could drop in on these guys. Eh, how about we just get past them? Alright, we are advancing towards the shrine. Just gonna do a quick little fall. Nice. Ooh, we found a Zapshroom. This mushroom grows wild in the Gerudo region. The cap is naturally insulated, so when used in cooking, it will offer protection against electricity. How lovely. Ooh. Seems we have a metal block puzzle. Alright, so we'll just take this. Um, there. Now, we're just gonna slide it around a bit. Um, did I do it? Right here. I'm just gonna place it right here. I'll fall down. Um. Hmm. And then jump over here. Right, now we'll just slide this back into place. Perfect. And for that, a Korak is ours. Yeah, ha You found me! Also, I do not remember pressing the arrow button there. I must have just slipped onto it with my thumb or my radius my radical radius now i talked about this on stream but there 
my seventh grade teacher taught me a way to remember some, well, taught our class in general, some ways to remember our bones. So, now your thumb is, like, the bone that your thumb is attached to is the radius. She, so she just said radical radius because, you know, thumbs up. And then for the pinky, she said the, just think of Auntie Olna, the way she sips her tea. It's pretty clever. And then you've got the pelvis. Okay, this is what I didn't mention on stream, so you're getting some exclusive bone trivia here. <laughs> There's uh, the hips. That is the pelvis, because Elvis liked to shake his pelvis. It was, it was incredibly brilliant, I must say. But now we have this puzzle on the move. So we just gotta hit that into the hole. It's a pretty interesting puzzle. All right, just wanna look around the room real quick. All right, we can advance. All right, and if I'm correct... Ah, there's the enemies that I was expecting. I'll shoot them. Oh, nice. Nice, we got it. Okay, so that ball should be coming around. Now, this is difficult because of those enemies, but since we took care of them, they should not be a problem. Ah, there's the ball. Ooh, that did not have as much momentum to it. So we're just gonna have to use this. Yes, made the shot nonetheless. Alright. And now this door will open. Okay, this is the part I remember the most. Now, you have this whole entire row of laser beams. You have the ball right here. Don't forget to grab it. It's quite easy to forget. Now, the way we're gonna do this is we'll grab the chest. Put it right here. Do not put it on the treadmill, otherwise it will roll off the platform. We got an opal. Lovely. And then, let's see. You want to pick up this ball, and then those blocks will come by and block the laser. So you want to time this just right, so you run past the laser when it's blocking it. When the... Uh, cement block is blocking. Alright, this one is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna have to pick up the ball, go past this laser, and now you're gonna have to wait. Alright. Just keep running in between these two, then a block will come by eventually, and you run past it. Hup. Yes, made it. Perfection. Now just don't mess up with the ball here. Don't drop the ball. Hmm. Alright, and that's it. That would be the end of this shrine. Okay, and then... You have these two bones, which is like where your shins are. I I remember this specifically because my teacher said that a lot of kids mess up on this, like get these two confused, but I believe the front ones, the tibia, and the back ones, the fibula. think that's it. Alright, yep, and another spirit orb in the bag. Hey, four spirit orbs, that means 
we're gonna be getting ourselves another heart container whenever we find the next goddess statue. Hmm. All right. So we just wanna keep going this way. Hmm. We don't have any map data for this area, so we're kind of exploring unknown territory. Hmm. I remember seeing the first glimpses of Breath of the Wild at E3 20... Wait. Okay, last year was Super Mario Odyssey, so that means it was in 2016 that we saw The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which was the first time we'd seen it since... Uh, When was the last time we saw it? It was like, um... 2013, maybe? I don't know, but it was an incredibly long amount of time. But, uh... It's very nice that we got to see it. And... One of the things I remember quite clearly was a shot of this kind of area with canyons. Then again, I can't say if I remember seeing Hateno in the background, which we didn't know was Hateno Village. And I remember seeing a figure that looked kind of like a Star Lord or whatever it is from Twilight Princess. You know, the one that you take the spinner and you just utterly like obliterate with it. Well, I remember seeing him somewhere in there, like, at least a shadow of him, so I was like, neat! And I thought he was actually going to be in the game, but he wasn't. I think, looking back, it might have just been, like, uh, Stalnox, but I was still awed by it. I kind of wish there were more... Shadow of the Colossus bosses, bosses, though, if you know what I mean. Like, bosses that you just had to climb up on. In fact, we really don't have too many unless you count the Henoxes. Just the sound of wind on the glider. And I must say, really like that new glider they added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the paraglider glider. That was just... Really love that one. Alright. We're just moving along. Hmm. Alright. Well, make things a bit more exciting. How about we go up through this ginormous wooden excavation site. This will be fun. Now I'm just going to change my shield. In case you didn't see the stream, we got this Dragon Bone Boko shield and also the Dragon Bone Boko club, which as you can see, it's double the might of a spike Boko club. So it's a very nice find. Um... How about I just use the ice spear? Nah, I'll hold on to the ice spear. That'll be important in keeping cool because we're kind of going into a desert area, if you notice, because you got all of the grainy texture of sand. And to quote quite the infamous quote, I hate sand. It's coarse and rough. It gets everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna swap right on over to this. We got another Volt Fruit. And then we also have this metal crate, which we could just drop to the ground. 
<laughs> it didn't break. Wow. Okay. I'll just take it, turn around this way, and fling it. Okay, that wasn't as impressive. You see, what I was going to try and do is just... There we go. That's what I was aiming to achieve. We got ourselves a baked palm fruit. So yeah, we're definitely getting into a hot reason. A hot region. Ugh. Because every... Like, the things we're finding in these chests are getting burnt. So, yeah. Hmm. We got a guy stopped on the side of the road here. Let's talk to him. Must have a good horse. Hey, hey, I sure wasn't expecting to meet anyone out here. Maybe this is just the upturning luck I needed. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. I am a traveler like you. And I was attacked by monsters in this very camp. That's when my partner, that's to say, my horse, ran off. And hey, I've been stranded here ever since. Hey, yeah, if I just had a horse, I could continue my travels. And you're a fellow traveler, so I have to ask, right? If on your travels you see a horse that would suit me, would you sell it to me for 100, no, 300 rupees? You got it. Hey, thanks. But don't bring me too big a horse. Won't be able to ride it. No, I need a suitably sized horse. Hmm, so he needs a good sized horse horse now that's kind of interesting that he mentions that i'm not sure if i'll have enough time to like actually discover this but there's a certain horse around this area that is a big horse it's like probably 1.5 times the size of your regular horse that's just an estimation though and if you bring it to him, I'm pretty sure he just doesn't accept it. But then again, I've never actually went out of my way to do it. So I can't really say I'm pretty sure. It's like I'm not sure at all, actually. And I just changed my shield by accident, but that's all right. Now let's just ascend the wooden area. Eh, I suppose we could go up a bit just to make sure there's no bland walking. And hey, while we're up here, might as well switch on over to the champion's tunic. And who knows, maybe we'll get to show off its special ability. Because the champion's tunic, if we find an enemy around here, I don't want to go in that direction. I would just be going off the beaten path. I mean, this is already off the beaten path as it is. I mean, this paragliding should make up for some lost time. So, let's see. Hmm. Oh, boulders. Alright, so now we have a little bit of a puzzle in our way. And by puzzle, I mean something you could just walk straight around. But... If we use Magnesis, we could find that there's a rock we could use Magnesis on. And we'll just slide it around. All good to go. Hmm. I really want to find the tower in this region. I mean, that could probably make a pretty good episode. Just climbing up to find something to climb up. Alright, red ruby. Hmm. I have all these dragonflies buzzing around, so it makes a pretty nice set area. Hmm, scared that one off. Hmm. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. That'll be worth checking out. That's a pretty high up pillar, and in fact, that means that we're close to the tower, or at least that's in view of the tower, because I remember, like, at the end of the E3 footage, they showed some areas outside of the Great Plateau, 
because the whole entire day they were just covering the Great Plateau. Wow. And I remember Reggie saying that it's not even 1% of the game. That was what Reggie said. Oh, you're here to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle loves bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? You get something in return, of course. How about I give you this mighty elixir? You got the mighty elixir. Grants us attack for five minutes. Yahoo, beetle is so excited. You're such a sweetheart. I'll add this bad boy to my beetle collection. Yay! Anyway, back to my business. What are you looking for? Or what are you selling? What have you got? Alright. So we could purchase some arrows here. I'm definitely going to want those. Okay. Um. Hmm. I think we should grab some heat. Some of these winter wing butterflies. These will be helpful for resisting the heat. We can make. Eh, I mean. We don't really need the warm darner since we have our warm duplet, and that seems to be lasting us for quite some time. Hmm, here's stable. Right there. Okay, let's start by checking out this stable. I looked under chairs. I looked under tables. Try to find the key. To 50 million fables, they call me the seeker. I've been searching low and high. Won't get to get what I'm after till the day I die. Hmm, I have an interesting looking person down there. I'm just gonna climb up here first. Maybe grab some mushrooms on my way. On my rush to the top. Uh, we could just jump once. I don't want to risk that second jump. I think I'll just climb the whole way. There we go. And let's check under this rock. We'll find ourselves a Korok. Lovely. Now we'll just place that back and climb down. Uh, we could just glide the rest of the way. Let's talk to this guy first. Hey, did you happen to see any of my friends? There are four travelers named Olive, Flaxel, Canolo, and Palm. I don't know. They're all walking together when some monsters suddenly jumped us near the Kokotu Plateau Path. They took off running and didn't stop until I got here. I thought my friends were right behind me, but when I turned around, they were nowhere to be found. I don't think the monsters could have. No, they're fine. They'll be back any second now. Hey, if you happen to run into any of my friends on the road, please let them know Sesame is waiting for them here. Alright. Now we have the side quest missing in action. Suck to Cass. Greetings, traveler. How about a song? Th that there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Yeah. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs. Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous among them recounts the events of 10,000 years ago. I happened to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Uh, not right now, because basically what it's, that's going to do is just replay an, a different version of the cutscene with Impa. Not enough. <laughs> Buddy, got any mushrooms? What's the matter? See, I... Tired. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. <laughs> I first tried mushrooms when I was five years old. Come to think of it, I ate them every day since without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran thanks to those things. <laughs> Cut to 55 years later. Now I can barely drag these bones off the ground without those mushrooms. 
gods. No matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get up the cliffs and to pick mushrooms where they grow. That's why I'm letting it up. all able-bodied sorts know that I'm in the market for. I'll give a diamond for 55 Russian. That's worth the effort, right? If you want to do business, just come talk to me. I'm always here. <laughs> yep. Rush with Rush. Now we're getting caught in a drug deal. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a confusing one right there. Alright. Oh, perfect. This night's claymore is about to break, so we'll just pick up the iron sledgehammer. And I did... Yes, I did take a picture of it. I actually took two... And I saved one. Huh. Let's see what this guy's checking out. Oh, you're the guy who found the Great Fairy Fountain. Funny thing, r funny running into you here. Are you traveling too? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. This one, you really can't miss this one if you're going along this storyline. Mm, this picture. Oh, it's this... Isn't this the Karakara Bazaar? It's an oasis just outside Gerudo Town. If you head southwest from here, you can't miss it. Yeah, even he says he can't miss it. Link! Link, what are you doing right now? Are you just, like... He's just squinting right now. It kind of reminds me of Oscar, if you've ever seen him in Fire Emblem Heroes. It's a great place, just brimming with an exotic atmosphere. It's certainly worth visiting at least once in your life. Link, I have no clue what you were doing, but you were just having a good time doing it. I'd like to travel the desert to sell my wares, but I haven't found a pack animal yet that won't get stuck in the sand. I sell bugs. What? It's a living! I've got some darners, and that's about it. See for yourself. Alright, so let's just purchase three cold darners. That'll be 30 rupees. Okay, thanks. You all set? Goodbye. Sounds good. See ya. Alright. I believe that'll be a fair point to end it off for this episode. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath... The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Jeez, I'm just getting tongue twisted. We're going to find that shrine, and after that, we'll make way for the tower that we can actually see right there. See you guys then.